I didn't tell you because I'd hoped I wouldn't have to. A note? Yes. To me? Yes, supposedly from Mac. There was a compartment in the Red Swan. I know about that compartment. It was empty. It didn't start out that way. What did the note say? It directed you to Ken Jordan. I don't believe this. It hasn't been authenticated yet, you but I... You found this note. No, he didn't. Mitch did. What? He found it the day he brought you the Red Swan. No, he didn't. I was with him that night. He found the note before he talked to you, Mom. He decided to keep it from you. Why? He wasn't sure that it was really from Mac. He wanted to know more about Ken Jordan. He kept it from me. Mom, he was doing what he thought was the right thing. I know what he was doing. It's what you're all doing. You're making my decisions for me, and it's got to stop. Mom. It has to stop. I'm going upstairs to clean up and lie down. Somebody is to call Mitch and get him over here as soon as possible to talk to me. Now, that is my decision. Is that very clear? What do we do? I think that's very clear. There's no way all of these coincidences are just... Coincidental. It, right. And the lies, Courtney... Jordan has done nothing but lie. It's not a crime. It is if he means to defraud Rachel. You don't have proof. I know that. And I'm not asking for a full-blown investigation. Look, all I'm doing is asking a friend who happens to be a cop to help someone who's been a good friend to all of us. I suppose I can run a check on Jordan. That's all we're asking, Courtney. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get to know the results. Hi. I have flowers for Mrs. Amanda Fowler. Oh, I'm Amanda Fowler. Sign here, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. This is Corey. Why did you do that? Why did I do what? You told him you were Amanda. Oh, well, I just thought it was easier than explaining that I'm an Amanda's nephew's nanny. That's all. Don't do that again. I'm sorry. Where is he? Come on, Rachel. Oh, Courtney. Hi. Your cast called me. I'm glad to see you. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. If I can. Yeah. I would like to know anything I can about Ken Jordan. I'm going to see what I can do. Now, we certainly can establish if he's been arrested or convicted of a felony or not. But beyond that... It's no. all right, whatever you find out. You know, I've also been thinking that maybe we should run a check on the people around you, just to be on the safe side. The people around me? Yeah, the people that you met through, Jordan, and new staff members here. People like that. Dr. Frame, please. Hello, Jamie. Paulina, is there anything wrong? No, Stephen's fine. Um, but I'm going to have to take off for a few days. I see. Well, when? Right away. Tonight. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to go to the circus with you and Stephen. Paulina, is this some kind of an emergency? It's my mom. She needs me back home. Is she sick? Nothing serious, I hope, but... Well, she's not supposed to do anything strenuous for a few days. I understand. Uh, why don't you ask Miss Hudson to go to the circus with you? I I'm sure Stephen would love being with both his parents. I'll, um, think about that. Well, I have to run now. Bye. Are you sure you want Jordan to come back here? I'll never know the truth about all of this unless we find him. I also want to know if he's all right. That sounds fair to me. Hire whoever you need to find him, Frankie. I'll do my best. If Mac wanted me to meet him, I want to know why. Find Ken Jordan. Mm -hmm.